Ah, so you just made your Requiem account, huh? Wow, just look at you. So proud. And that's great and all, but welcome to your dorm room. You'll be here eventually. And of course, I'm here to shove five facts inside your face that I wish I would have known when I was in your shoes. For all the people that aren't new Requiem players though watching this, this video is, is for the Requiem new players. Quest 3S just came out. 300 bucks. A lot of new people. A lot of new people are going to be coming in. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, let's get started. Immediately right as you get into your dorm room, you should do this. You should open up your watch, then go to settings. When inside settings, you should go to controls and you should see this thing called auto sprint turn this on trust me it'll save you the headache later also if you guys don't know inside your settings you can control a lot of things about your games like how you emote grip turning swipe rotate stuff that you learned inside you know orientation and stuff but they also have more game settings that also affect your experience like who you're able to appear online to notify friends a bunch of things language safety ignore bubble personal space bubble these are very important and these will most likely be on when you first start who you receive dms for who you can be added to group chats by your measuring height share cam just a bunch of settings here. So when you first start out inside of Rec Room, it's very important you, you know, just scroll through all these settings. You can even change your graphics quality. And it's just important that you browse through all of them to see all the different things that you can actually do inside of Rec Room and stuff. I think it's super important that you learn your settings very early on. If you get sick in VR, you can even like turn on VidgeNet. It, it's crazy. You also get access to a streamer cam, which allows you to better record inside of Rec Room if you have PC and stuff. If you don't have a PC and stuff like that, chances are you don't have streamer cam. And also you can also change your notifications and which notifications you actually end up receiving and stuff. So important stuff. Now, I feel like I don't really have to explain customizing your character in game. You can customize your character in game by just going to your mirror and pressing this button. When you start out in the game, you'll have the basic items and stuff like that. You won't have the items that I actually have on now and stuff because you'll need to buy those with tokens and I'll get more into that later. But basically you'll have access to some basic clothes, some basic hairdos, some basic colors for your hair and etc, etc. And of course you should also have the option to choose between Bean and Full Body Avatar. Basically on Full Body Avatar, this is Bean. As you guys can see, pick, pick your poison. But one thing that I should explain when it comes to customizing is actually customizing your account. Now, I see a lot of new players not do this until they at least get a little bit more into Rec Room and stuff like that, and I don't blame you. It's just, it's cool to see, you know, a fully customized account because you can really change a lot of things here. If you guys don't know how to get there, you go to Home, then you'll go to Profile, and then you'll press this Edit button right here. In this, you can edit your actual profile picture, like you can post a selfie of yourself or something. You can edit your display name, the emoji that you have next to your display name, your body bio, important stuff, also like your pronouns, your pride badge, your recent activity to friends, and more settings stuff. You also have account settings here as well, as you guys can see, that are also important. So setting up your profile and stuff like that is super important and might make it easier to have people socialize with you and have stuff to talk about. But who do I know? I, I don't talk to anyone, so, you know. It doesn't really matter, but I, I wish I knew about it before. Now, another cool thing that you guys can actually do is you have the portfolio section where you're able to see basically everything you've done, like the rooms you've made, inventions you've created, the custom clothing you've made, and photos. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, UGC is in the game now, so there's things like Sigma headbands and Glorp headbands, and pretty much everything's going to be in the game eventually. But yeah, there's also that and custom clothing or custom shirts like this that I have on. This is not an actual item record made. So yeah. Anyways, back to what I was saying. This is your portfolio. Wow, all the photos. Oh my gosh. Wow, super cool. Anyways, if you go to progress, you'll see this. This is your level rewards, and you'll basically see where you're at inside your levels. Considering you just started, you're probably like level one through five. And of course, you'll be able to see each reward that you'll be able to get. Some of these range from four star to five star, and it's pretty cool to just see. Hopefully, Requiem adds more levels soon, so you know, people can be like a level 100 soon, but 50 is the max level at the moment of this actual video being posted. Now, if you don't know already, tokens are the currency inside this game. You can earn tokens from activity boxes just by playing the game and stuff like that, like Rec Room Originals or Community Maps, which players made and stuff. Honestly, it's sort of like Roblox if you want to go there. But you also have these challenges that are daily and you get like a little reward box and stuff. It's pretty cool. But you can also buy tokens as well. And that's usually like the way how you get a lot of tokens if you're not very popular in this game. The next thing I wish I knew about was the Maker Pen and tokens. Requiem is in this weird phase where it's transitioning out of the Maker Pen into Requiem Studio right now. And honestly, Requiem Studio deserves this whole video, so we'll just talk about the Maker Pen right now. To give my sort of half-baked kaboggle here, because I'm not a big Maker Pen user, essentially, you can build maps or you can build inventions for players to use, or you can even be artistic and make shirts or UGC clothes and stuff, and you gain tokens from people buying that. But the trade-off 
is you need Rec Room Plus. Think of Rec Room Plus like Builders Club inside of Roblox and stuff like that. And it gives you a bunch of benefits like tokens and stuff, a bunch of discounts, free early access to items, save slots, etc, etc. But it also allows you to create your own custom shirts, double token rewards, and sell items and stuff like that. So you can't make any sort of tokens off the Maker Pen if you don't have Rec Room Plus. Rec Room Plus is $8 by the way. Yeah, I know. It costs money. It's, it's pretty scary. But honestly, if you guys are interested in that stuff there is a video that bvr made that is way better than my explanation and stuff and they're really good at the whole like maker pen stuff and making tokens and money off the game so watch that video if you guys want to get invested in that but that's kind of like just like your little cheat code to make thousands of tokens in rec room and never have to spend tokens since i make videos and stuff i can own maps and i also get like token rewards from those maps so i never have to buy tokens because i get tokens from people playing games that i co-own if that made sense it's a lot for a new player if you're a returning viewer i yeah, I know you get it. But you know there's something that I know you didn't get yet? My code. Now, some content creators and YouTubers inside of Rec Room have this thing called a video partner code. And it's basically just like a supported creator code on Fortnite and stuff. And mine is just Skull. You guys can go to people. And then on the top, you'll see search players. And basically, you'll just want to search up my name. You guys will see that my name is Skull. You guys should see me pop up. I have a verification badge to prove it's me and stuff. But you guys can go on my profile, click a button that's like right here to support me and stuff. It's great. But yeah, it supports me. Do it. Just just do it. It also runs out in 45 days, so I will pressure you again in another video. Um, and yeah. Continuing onwards, Rec Room is a social VR hangout game. You can play Quest, hang out with people inside of some random community map, or just be chill and do nothing. And just, just be a blob looking at yourself in the rec center. Hey! This is pretty fun! Now yes, you can go hang out in the billions of games that are inside of Rec Room, or you can go to events. Both are great, don't get me wrong, but if you want a different way to socialize with people, you guys can go to this little events tab inside your home menu. Depending on the event, it could be like things like last to leave, a party, come chill, training, furry hangout, you name it, and there's probably an event for it. So of course, if you guys want to, you know, check out events and stuff, feel free to check that out. I wish I knew about them before I started playing because it's just like adds on to the whole social experience. It makes the game feel a lot less lonely, if that makes sense. Also, plenty of funny things happen at events all the time. So if you're social person then uh yeah that's something to be happy about if you're introverted then um i guess you can cry about that also now rec room has a lot of updates and that's super important to know me of course being the news youtuber <laughs> 2023 through 2024 best rec tuber by the way i think it's very important to know when rec room updates happen or like weekly rotations happen every week they'll have a different pop-up shop and since like october and stuff they're having this whole like october event go watch this video for, uh, if you guys want to learn more about it and stuff like that or they'll like change random stuff inside the center or include like collabs that they're having like with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or with Destiny and stuff. Not to mention they have like this board here where you guys can learn more about the community, watch YouTube videos, see the featured creators and featured rooms. A whole bunch of stuff happens inside the rec center and it's super important to know when exactly that stuff has happened. So for weekly rotations, they happen basically every Friday at 11 a.m. PST. Now I'll let you break that down in your own time zone if you need to. But that's basically when all the new stuff happens and I'll usually make a video or a short basically talking about it. So if you guys want to stay in tune with all the rec room updates and news and stuff like that you should totally subscribe updates are pretty wacky because you know the schedule always changes and rec room is you know pretty busy with their whole update pipeline so updates can come out on mondays or they can sometimes come out on wednesdays and shoot they even sometimes come out on fridays usually though i would say it's about you know monday through tuesday when you should expect an update but don't be surprised if you see one like on the weekend or something now talking about staying connected with you know rec room updates and stuff like that i think it's also important to stay connected within the rec room community and there's another way to do that if you have Discord or have access to Discord, feel free to join the Rec Room Discord. Rec Room has a tons of bugs, it breaks all the time, it's still, you know, a game that's being patched regularly, so of course if you come into any wacky stuff, you can report it and talk to other people about it on the Discord. It's a pretty welcoming community, just don't be, you know, an ass or anything and you'll be fine. Now, a pretty wacky thing that only really happens on my channel and not really many other YouTuber channels is that I read out my memberships. Basically, these people give me money every month and I give them perks like being shouted out in videos and sneak peeks to my videos and stuff. You scratch my back, I scratch yours type deal. Anyways, of course, if you want to join the family, you guys should see it next to the subscription button, and I have people's names to read out. So massive shout out to these folks who include Hydro, KobeFan76, Reed Reed, Nat the Pup, The Dragon Boy, Gasty, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Dozer Blade, Cat BB, Burning Owl, Raphael, Clown, the 6 9 and of course, Box David. Love you to death. You guys have been supporting me for so long, many months, and of course, appreciate you all. Anyways, um, 
effect to the video. And of course, those are the five things that I wish I knew before I started playing Rec Room. Now, I do want to say there's obviously more, but I don't want to make, you know, too long of a video. But I do just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you guys are interested in Rec Room news and knowing what updates and stuff are happening, you guys should be seeing, you know, a video on that side of the screen or something. Like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff, and maybe I'll make another video like this if you guys like it. And I know where you live. Anyways, bye.